Hello everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. We're in that land, we're carrying on with the Matlon Archon quest, all the brand new quests, and having a great time with it. Thank you for joining me today. Let's dive in. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh yeah, there were flags, weren't there? There were all sorts of symbols on them. Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natlan, including the Children of Echoes. Why the sudden tour guide routine? <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. There was um, uh, one, of the, one of the web events recently where you answered some questions to see which um, tribe you kind of belong to, and I think my one came up to be the Scions of the Canopy. My friend Muolani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. Play some. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the Springs. Mualani, you're back! We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, and they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though, these two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. So I was wondering whether the fact that we can um, use the, uh, I think what it's called now, the, the Flodgestone, I can't remember how you say it, uh, we, we can use that, which seems to be that only people from Natlan can, can use. Maybe because we can do that, they might let us in. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. She's more than skilled enough to participate, and I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what she can do. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. I wonder whether it would uh, be produced if we were to take part. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. I mean, solid reasoning. I understand, I understand what she's saying. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. Yeah, it's fine. I understand the importance of this event. Well, you can still enjoy <laughs> the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That's a shame. I was hoping to be able to take part. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. Now, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. If the Ode of Resurrection exists, why do you have to go through the process of selecting warriors? You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. Ooh. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was sort of thinking about this, that it seems like oh, it's quite a harsh... I mean, sure, it's like a great honor to fight for your people, to protect your, your land, your family, your friends. Um, but it's uh, not quite a, a suicide run, but, cause, you know, you, you could win and come back be fine. But, yeah, it's very, very dangerous. But, yeah, so if, as I'm thinking, you know, this, this, this young girl who 
by her own mission, seems to lose more fights than she wins, but I'm not entirely sure that's true. She seems to be better than what she thinks she is. Why she would want to try and, and win and get sent to the wars if, that could end up just, you know, might be killing her. But, but yeah, so she kind of knows she's safe, that she can be resurrected. Um, I'm, I'm getting the picture. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. So I'm assuming that they mean like victory in general, because presumably if you die in battle against the abyss, you've lost. It seems like, uh, yeah, there's got to be a little bit more to it than that, because if, you, if you're victorious, why, why are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be like like your your army in general your your unit or something like that is victorious but you happen to die it's quite it's not quite as uh, safe as i first thought actually um you still gotta perform well yeah okay the tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten and an ancient name <laughs> cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time yeah i guess exactly what i was saying but why would the victors need to be revived <laughs> surely they they're alive already. Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. You have to think about it at the team level. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams, to instill in us the importance of working together. Okay, it's all beginning to make sense. I like it. It's good. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present, but together, we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. That's super interesting, actually. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natlan? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. I wonder if that's the place where we've gone, like that rest area where we, we met our, um, our little Saurian friend. It might not be, but because that, that seems like it would be a different realm. It could be. We call this realm the Night Kingdom, a mysterious <laughs> liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. No, it doesn't sound like it. This liminal space, the, the place we went to definitely wasn't a liminal space. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Jesus, guy. <laughs> then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon lord Kahula Howl. <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. Okay, a how. I've got to remember that's how you pronounce his name, not not Ajor. A how. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Huh. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, all food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon. Sign me up. Family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun. 
Okay, I'm off for some fun. Uh, okay, let's go and get some food. This place is so cool. I, I'm really in enjoying this new area. Although I've barely scratched the surface, I think. Where are we going? Oh, excuse me. Coming through. Oh, okay, cool. We've got a nice little shop here. We might be able to get some. Uh, what would you recommend? What have we got? Here's the menu. Oh, okay, recipes. Yeah, we'll grab, we'll grab the recipes. Or oh, should I just buy a thing? Okay, yeah, so, and then we've got all this kind of stuff. Cool. Alright, actually, you know what? I was kind of low on flour. Let's buy some flour. Okay, let's move on. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. These dishes are all local specialties. That's a dangerous thing to say to Pyman, I think. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Let's feast until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. <laughs> don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous, even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they still get paid. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a how away for now, so you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. Is his existence going to be explained as why he's like a digital thing? Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenichi and Ahau are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. Aww. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. I wonder how old she is, because it seems like she's competed several times. I thought once a year, so she's been competing for several years. And she does not look very old. So how young was she when she first competed? And how do other competitors feel about beating up a small child? I, <laughs> I don't know about this. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up with the why up. Oh yeah, I noticed this moment ago. Yeah, look, she's got little fish peoples. <laughs> That's so cool. Trust me, Kachina. The why up see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. I'm guessing the pilgrimage hasn't gone too well in the past. Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still no wins. Okay, so she's been competing for seven or eight years at least. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming she's got, she had no wins. So yes, yeah, she's competing seven or eight years. How old is she? She can't be, she must have started it. She can't be off more than like, she probably seems like, like 12 or something at the most. So how old she was she started? That's insane. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team! Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Lalani, you're... you're the best. I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. I still don't know why the Lyab chose me to inherit an ancient name, but... I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you too! I mean, to be fair, that would apply to everybody else who's competing as well, so... That doesn't necessarily put her above anybody else, so I don't know. 
yeah, sure, I encourage her, but I don't know if that point really stands up to much. <laughs> uh, right, just call us cheerleaders one and two. No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who has to learn from you. But still, <laughs> thanks, you guys. <laughs> Jeez, now I'm crying again. <laughs> Everyone has been so nice to me today. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. I wonder how her parents feel about her getting beaten up every year. <laughs> nice to see your game face back, Katina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so it isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't you worry. We've seen how kind and hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. <laughs> Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. I... I'll pour you all some drinks. I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. She even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. Uh, that's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confident. <laughs> oh, right, nice. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden Wars. Came out on top each time. And she's never had to be resurrected. Oh, powerful one. Wow, that's amazing! Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Ooh, no, wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause. Paimon gets it. That's how Paimon and the Traveler are too. Fighting side by side? <laughs> are we? Really? <laughs> of course! Just think about it, Traveler. Where would you be without your guide? Yeah, I guess so. Drinks are here. <laughs> Better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, Kachina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. That was just nerves earlier. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> If only we had a friend who never oversleeps. All right, fine. I'll make sure you guys are up on time. So, I mean, they're on different teams, so I, I take it they'll be competing against each other. So, I don't know, that's interesting. Obviously, obviously they're friends and stuff, but if, if they win, does that mean he will lose? Or can, I mean, I'm assuming multiple teams will be able to go through. I don't know. We'll see how it all works in the future, Atta I guess. boy. I knew you'd catch on. So full. Ah, I'm so sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. I'm still a little worried about Kachina, though. Maybe we can help her out with her training. She did say she wanted to learn from us. Not that Paimon's gonna be doing much of the teaching. Yeah, okay, that's why. Okay, so look for. Okay, optional. Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever seen like an optional quest. Obviously we're going to do it. Of course we're going to do it. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing an optional quest before. We can wait till tomorrow or we can... Look for her. Uh, where is she? Hold on. She's over there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go find her. Definitely we're going to do the optional quest. If we have a chance to do something, we're going to do it. Uh, down below by the looks of it. Yep. That 
all smooth. Katina! Oh, it's you two. I just finished training with Lulani. What's up? Well, you worked so hard to introduce us to Natlan, we wanted to return the favor. I uh, thought I could share some experience with you. I want to help you do the best you can. Wow, you guys are exactly like Kachina described. No wonder she's already your biggest fan. Guess I should make myself scarce, though. Kachina was the one who helped you out all day, so I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings. It's just a simple piece of advice, really. Battle is more than just a contest of strength. Huh? What do you mean? Observation is also key. Observation? Study your opponent, master their habits, let wisdom become another weapon in your arsenal. Yeah! The person who hits the hardest isn't always the one who wins! Oh, I... I think I get it! You're saying, fight smarter, not harder! Having the strength to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy! Atta girl, Kachina! Exploit your opponent's weaknesses while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. You're right. I just need to focus. When I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation, and end up rushing in without a plan. Yeah, that kind of tactic, you need to be super strong to be able to uh, make that work for you. Mind sticking around a little longer, Mualani? I want to try out some new moves. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Just give it your best shot. Okay, so that was all we had to do. That was nice. Oh, I wonder if that has any bear bearing on the, um, the final... Yeah, I mean, yeah, this game doesn't tend to have branching choices or anything, so sometimes you, you can branch off like, um, let's call it like different dialogue options, but ultimately the same thing. It always ends up to be the same kind of uh, place, but okay, well, we'll find out. Uh, so there just see something over there that we could do? Well, there is a little time trial, and there is something over there. Okay, let's have a go at... This is this thing. Okay, hold on. Let me grab him before he starts uh, attacking. Right, what are we doing? Open the chest in 20 seconds. Where is it? Where is it? Up here, okay. Go, 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 go. Wow, these guys are so slow. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there's, okay. That, that's not the tactic today, I think. Maybe it is. Let's see how close we are to it. Okay, I reckon we could have done that. If I knew where to go straight away. Let's try it again. Uh, let's get up. Uh, was there a thing where we could recharge the stuff? Well, there's a chest over there as well. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, we'll try it again. So it was up, up there, I think. So let's start challenge and let's go. Have I got the wrong one? I think I have. Should be alright though. Maybe. There it is. We got it. Yes, we did. Nice. Okay, cool. Another challenge done. Oh, okay, right. Let's uh, wait till tomorrow then. Okay, meet up with Chino and the others. Can be. Yeah, I was hoping this can be one of these ones. Oh. So, can I see if I can zoom over the walls here? Not quite. Oh yeah, they're quite good at running up things, aren't they? Uh, but not up here. Okay, that was not the way to do it. <laughs> Maybe it was, but I didn't do it right. Right, let's get inside. Morning, Traveler. Morning, Paimon. Looks like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> good to see that no one overslept. Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you! Wow, not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? See how your friends talk to me, Kanich? I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No! I get told off! Mualani's right, though. <laughs> Look at his face. <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. Alright, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. 
I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's a pretty good sign. I mean, could you imagine you would be feeling so nervous before like an annual competition like this with such big stakes. I don't think I could sleep. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. Yep, exactly what I was saying. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. Oh no. We were so busy focusing on the tournament we forgot to buy something. I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. Thanks. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once. Attention everyone! The tournament is about to begin. All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't you worry! Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium! Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we should get going. See you later! Okay, bye-bye! Yeah, I'm pretty hyped for this. I think it's gonna be... I hope this is gonna be good. <clears throat> like, a, like a real cool cutscene. Just, I think maybe this is where we're going to get introduced to the Attention Pyro everyone. Icon. The tournament's about to begin. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Oh, that's our cue! Wow, we've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Yeah, I can't remember what that one was called. Compared to that one we did take part in. Was that what in the Azuma? I think, yeah, I think it was. That was like, you know, there's a few people standing around in a circle on the beach. This is something <laughs> much bigger. Oh, let's go. I'm so excited. Entering the stadium of the Sacred Flame? You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. Okay, during the pilgrimage of the Return of the Sacred Flame, certain systems and functions will be unavailable or will be restored once competition ends. To ensure you have the best experience, it's recommended that you experience the next part of the story when you have ample time to complete it. Ooh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe then. Uh, let's wait for a bit. Let, I, I will start that, oh, that's disappointing, but I'll start that in a new episode, because otherwise this one could go on. I don't know how long that's going to take. So I'll tell you what, Ben, this one's a little bit shorter than usual, but... We're still half an hour in, that's fine. We'll leave it here for today, and then tomorrow we will come back and we'll, we'll check out this competition. I am so excited uh, for it. I think it's going to be amazing, um, and I'll make sure I have plenty of time to sit down and play this all the way through. So I will see you then. Goodbye.